work your ass off. There is no magic pill. It drives me crazy to go to the gym. You read one hour a day. I went and worked out five hours a day and I was working on construction with 24 hours a day. Organize your day. You work hard. I went to college. I went and worked out five hours a day and I was working on construction because in those days in bodybuilding there was no money we didn't I didn't have the money for food supplements or anything so I had to go to work so I worked on construction I went to college I worked out in the gym and at night from 8 o'clock at night to 12 midnight I went to acting class four times a week so I did all of that there was not one single minute that I wasted and this is why I'm standing here today with the age of 20 I went to London and I won the Mr. Universe contest as the youngest Mr. Universe ever and it was because I had a goal you see if you don't have a vision of where you go and if you don't have a goal where you go you drift around and you never end up anywhere 74% hate their job in America. The majority of people don't like what they're doing because they're really not doing it because they didn't have a goal and they followed this goal. They just aimlessly drift around and then all of a sudden they, there's a job opening so they get the job because you have to work. But then when you work, it's a chore. It's work. It's not fun. So if you think about it, only a quarter of the people really enjoy what they're doing in life. So people always ask me, when they saw me in the gym in the pumping iron days, they said, why is it that you're working out so hard, five hours a day, six hours a day, and you have always a smile on your face? The others are working out just as hard as you do, and they look sour in the face. Why is that? And I told people all the time, I said, because to me, I'm shooting for a goal. In front of me is the Mr. Universe title. So every rep that I do gets me closer to accomplishing that goal, to make this goal, this vision turn into reality. Every single set that I do, every repetition, every weight that I lift will get me a step closer to turn this goal into reality. So I couldn't wait to do another 500 pound squat. I couldn't wait to do another 500 pound bench press. I couldn't wait to do another 2,000 reps of sit-ups. I couldn't wait for the next exercise. So let me tell you something, visualizing your goal and going after it makes it fun. You got to have a purpose no matter what you do in life. You got to have a purpose. And Muhammad Ali worked his butt off. And I saw it firsthand. And I remember that there was a sports rider that was there in the gym and he was working out and he was doing sit-ups. And they asked him, how many sit-ups do you do? And he said, I don't start counting until it hurts. Now think about that. He doesn't start counting his sit-ups until he feels pain. That's when he starts counting. That is working hard. And so you can't get around the hard work, it doesn't matter who it is. Work your ass off. There is no magic pill. There is no magic out there. You cannot get around, you have to work and work and work. Make sure of this and make sure of that and all that stuff. So it's work. And it drives me crazy when people say that they don't have enough time to go to the gym for 45 minutes a day and work out. Or to do something for 45 minutes to an hour a day to improve. If it is physically improve or if it is mentally to improve. Imagine you read one hour a day about history. How much you will learn after 365 hours in one year. Think about if you study about the history of musicians, of composers, how much you would know. Imagine if you would work on the business, on some business that you want to develop every day for an hour. Imagine how further 
how long you will go and get. So it drives me nuts because we have, when people say we don't have the time, we have 24 hours a day. We sleep six hours a day. So it gives you still 18 hours. So there's someone shaking their head out here in front to say probably, I don't sleep six hours, I sleep eight hours, right? Or just sleep faster. And it's very important to understand that we function better if there is no safety net. Because plan B becomes a safety net. It says that if I fail, then I fall and I get picked up and I have something else there that will, that will protect me. And that's not good. Because people perform better when there's no safety net. People perform better in sports and everything else if you don't have a plan B. I'm telling you, I've never ever had a plan B. I say I made a full commitment that I'm gonna go and be a bodybuilding champion. I made a full commitment that I'm gonna be in America. I made a full commitment that I'm gonna get in the show business and I'm going to be a leading man. No matter what it takes, I will do the work. I will do the work over and over and over until I get it. We all fail. It's okay. What is not okay is that when you fail, you stay down. Whoever stays down is a loser. And winners will fail and get up. Fail and get up. Fail and get up. You always get up. That is a winner. I failed in bodybuilding. I failed bodybuilding competitions I lost powerlifting competitions I lost weightlifting competitions hey we all lose we all have losses this is okay and this is why I say don't be worried about losing because when you're afraid of losing then you get frozen you get stiff you're not relaxed you got to be in order to perform well in anything if it's in boxing or if it is on your job or with your thinking is only happening when you relax so relax it's okay to fail let's just go all out and give it everything that you got that's what it is all about so don't be afraid to fail